East Coast Metrology, located in Topsfield, Massachusetts, is a leading contract service group that provides on-site high-precision measurement services, including inspection, alignment, calibration, reverse engineering, and surface analysis for a wide variety of manufacturing industries. With over 100 years of combined experience in industrial measurement and engineering, it's no wonder why customers from around the globe look to East Coast for metrology solutions. On a day-to-day -day basis, we never know what's going to come through the office. Um, as I stated, we do do a lot of inspection services here in Topsville, Massachusetts at our headquarters, but most of our work is done off-site at our customers' facilities, and that's kind of our specialty. Um, our customers need us to be there to do inspections or measurements at their facility with um, especially large parts that they can't move. One facility recently contacted East Coast Metrology to conduct a very unique on-site inspection of parts that required accurate measurements. That facility was the Bear Swamp Power Company. Located 130 miles west of Topsfield in the town of Florida, Massachusetts, the Bear Swamp Company was developed by the New England Power Company to meet the expanded peak load periods when consumers place the heaviest demand on electricity. Completed in 1974, the Bear Swamp Complex is a pumped storage hydroelectric underground power station that lies along the Deerfield River, with a natural reservoir atop a mountain and a river flowing around its base. The energy potential for this coincidence of nature was remarkable. Deep within the mountain is Cockwell Station, a highly automated hydroelectric plant that uses a very unique method of generating electricity. The concept is very simple. During peak demand hours, the station operates as a conventional hydroelectric generating station. Released from the 118-acre upper reservoir, 10,760 cubic feet of water per second is channeled through a series of tunnels and veins to twin reversible pump turbines, which then flows into the lower reservoir. Operating in unison, the two pump turbines produce a total of 600,000 kilowatts of power that is delivered to the New England power grid. During the night, when energy demand drops, the turbines are used as pumps in which the generators become 415,000 horsepower motors to turn the twin turbines in reverse. This extreme horsepower is needed to pump the 8,800 cubic feet of water per second 770 feet from the lower reservoir back into the upper reservoir until it is needed for the next peak period. Paul Bernhardt, who works for Brookfield Renewable Power, was the assigned project manager working with Dave and Steve from East Coast Metrology. The overall project is we're replacing the uh, turbine runner and uh, upgrading the generator to get more power, more capacity out of it. And uh, part of that process when, uh, when we sign a contract with a turbine manufacturer, they have to um, design a computer model and a physical model to design the new runner. And as part of that process, um, what, we're, what we're doing here today is um, we're gonna measure uh, inside what's called the scroll case, which is what directs the water into the turbine runner and then inside the scroll case, there's 20 vertical veins that further direct the water down and into the turbine runner. So what we want to do is make sure that the drawings that we have when the plant was originally built are uh, accurate um, so that when they do the physical and the computer modeling, they have accurate information. With the short amount of time to complete the project, it was absolutely critical that the needed measurements were taken efficiently and accurately. In order to get the job done, East Coast Metrology used the Faro Laser Tracker. The Faro Laser Tracker is an extremely accurate portable contact measurement system that uses laser technology to perform measurements. The tracker uses a laser distance meter and two rotating axes to track the exact position of a mirrored spherical probe that is guided along the object to be measured. The laser beam is reflected back to a position sensing device that then drives the servo motors in the laser tracker. This closed loop system enables the tracker to follow 
or track the reflector at 1,000 updates per second. The software then stores the measurement values and compares them with CAD data. The advantage of the tracker, I, it's, it, it would, it's kind of even hard to, I wouldn't even know exactly how I would do it without it. The, the, tracker, the tracker helps to establish the coordinate system and what happens is we can establish a coordinate system inside of the turbine and we can have an XYZ based on um, the turbine uh, itself. So we can have these veins, each one of them, relative to the center of the turbine. Now to do that without the tracker would take months. You'd have to, you'd have to use piano wire. I mean, it'd be di extremely difficult. And another thing that the tracker allows us to do is what I was saying before with these veins is taking a cross section on this. We can take a dense point cloud on this vein itself and we can recreate this because we can do everything in 3D space. So we can recreate this vein extremely accurately and, um, and then make it relative to the center of the turbine and to the outside of here. So that everything that we do can, can all be in one computer program. So the tracker is a tremendous, I mean, being able to do this, I, it, it'd be extremely difficult to do it without it. We're going to be taking the diameter of the wall. As I said, each one of these gets successively smaller. So at each of these seams, we're going to give them a diameter so they can tell what the taper is and tell what it is and compare it to their drawings. The tracker allows us to move around in this area without, with, with relative ease. And to do this without a tracker would be, it could be done, but it would take a lot longer. And this is really the quickest and fastest way to do it. Normally, this complex project would have been extremely difficult and time-consuming to complete. However, the laser tracker's high accuracy, efficient data capture, and resiliency within extreme temperatures allowed East Coast Metrology to finish the job within Brookfield's scheduled downtime. With the accurate data provided by the Faro Laser Tracker, Brookfield Power will now be able to bid out the contract for an upgraded turbine runner and generator. Consequently, this new equipment will increase Brookfield Power's capacity in the provision of low-cost power throughout New England.